In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I give this beat up dining room table a complete transformation. I wanna show you all the steps I took to get it from looking like this to looking like this. Let's flip it. I started this project a couple of weeks ago, so I started sanding it before I was recording, but that's the color it was, and it had a lot of gouges in it, so it absolutely needed to be sanded. I do have another video on how to sand a table. If you need to check it out, I'll leave the link in the description box below. I decided to use Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stain in Espresso. I know I've been using this one a lot, but I have to tell you, it's absolutely my favorite. Um, I love the color. It's so rich against the white, and it's so forgiving. It's not like a regular stain. It's so easy to work with. I apply one coat with my application pad, and then I wait six hours. I do not wipe this off. I wait six hours, and then I apply another coat. After the first coat, sometimes I get nervous that, oh, it doesn't look so great or it's not so even, but the second coat, it just always comes out absolutely perfect and even and nice and rich, and I love it. <laughs> now I bring my table back in the house. It's the next day, and I use my Dixie Belle's White Lightning Cleaner to clean the base and the legs. I really like this cleaner because I believe it has TSP in it, and it just cleans really, really well. And I can't stress enough how important it is to clean your piece. That is everything. If you don't clean your piece, you'll get yellowing, your paint will peel, it'll just be nasty. So after I use my white lightning, I always wash it down again with water because you don't want to leave any cleaner residue on it. So to prime the legs and the base, I'm gonna use Zenzer Thin Primer. It has a shellac in it, so for me that's the best choice. When you're painting wood, that's when the tannins are likely to come through. Um, especially when you're using chalk paint because it's water-based, water actually activates the tannins in wood. So it just makes sense that you would want to prime. So I'm going to use this. It's an oil-based primer just because I really want my white to be clean and crisp and we don't want any yellowing coming through. If your prep work isn't on point, then you're going to have yellowing. So here I'm doing my first coat of paint and I'm going to use Rust-Oleum's Chalked in White Linen. I really like this color. It's just a super true white. I use my water mister and I apply it really carefully, sort of slowly, and it's going on really nice without any streaks, so I'm loving that. I feel like this paint is sort of underrated because I've used it a lot, um, especially when I was first starting out and I didn't have access to other paints. This was my favorite and I still use it and I have used so many other brands, but I always go back to this one because I love it. So I just wanted to show you that Rust-Oleum also makes the same exact paint in a spray can. The only negative part of it is it takes about four coats of spray paint to I would say two coats of just using the regular paint, but I like this option a lot. Especially when doing chairs, I always spray paint chairs with the chalked paint. Now here, I'm just using a really high grit sanding block. It's pretty worn out, but it works. And I'm just gonna sand the legs of the table just so that there's no um, lines or water spots or drips. You know, you just wanna give it a once over so it's nice and smooth. Now I use Verithane's Triple Thick Water-Based Polyurethane to seal the top. And I always use this one because I love it for tabletops. It's really, truly thick. You only need about two coats. With that being said, I've heard from a lot of other people that they have a hard time using this, but I generally think that people have a hard time with sealers anyway. 
The biggest tip I think I can give when using this is to make sure you're constantly using a clean brush. That means even in between coats, whether you use a tack cloth to clean your brush off or just in between coats, wash your brush and then make sure there's no lint on it when you go back a couple hours later to apply your second coat. Because anything that gets into it, it is just so hard to get out and that's when all the problems really happen. Also, beware of the dried up polyurethane on the sides of your can. Don't tap your brush on your can too much. Now here to seal the base and the legs, I'm using Verithane's water-based polyurethane in satin. It's just the regular, it's not triple thick or anything. And I do two coats of this, waiting for it to dry in between coats. And here's the final look. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next week.